You move the little arrow on the subject you want. Travel, literature, sport. And then you click twice. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, I'll, I'll find something else. Do you want politics? I think perhaps I should go. Oh, not yet. There's heaps of other stuff we can show you, if you want. All this knowledge in one small box. Well, no. See, it comes through the modem. Hey, guys, check out what I found. Hey, come on, you don't go reading other people's email. Dear Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> Lily's boyfriend. So people even conduct love affairs over this internet? Only the really desperate ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name needs vegetables for soup. Now, where have you been all morning, Constance? Meandering about the gold fields like a vagabond, no doubt? No, Papa. When was the last time I heard you at your scales, Constance? Or your verbs? It is true, Papa. I have been neglectful of my studies. But why am I not permitted to study history or science? You have the books in your library. The world, like the gold fields, can be a hush and unforgiving place. The affairs of men... Not only men, Papa. Constance. I want to learn. I want to know about these things. Constance, the subjects that you speak of are unfit matter for the minds of young ladies. But, Papa... Enough. I am your father and you will listen to me. Her daughter runs wild. Gallivanting, unchaperoned around the countryside. Ooh, where stop, are you? stop! Stop, Nick! Come back here. Replace the loaf, thieving limb of Satan. And offer apologies. Tell me sorry, miss. I am certain, if we were to inquire, we shall find that this boy has had a pitiful history. Hunger drives many a child to desperate acts. I am the Marquis Gervais de Loutre. This is my wife, Madame la Marquise. How do you do, sir? I am Mrs. Graveney. And what brings you to these parts, Madame? Pursuing my late husband's work, sir. A mission of enlightenment. Suffer the little children to come unto me. The little children? I am a teacher, sir. What is your name? Spike. Would you like to come with me, Spike? Will there be food? <laughs> of course there will be. And a bed to sleep in. And books to read. Well, as long as there's food. Here you are. a teacher, you say? What? Mrs. Graveney has agreed to tutor you for two hours a day in French, drawing, deportment, and other pursuits appropriate to a young lady of standing. How do you do, Constance? First one to catch something doesn't have to scale and gut it. How's that for a deal? Yeah, it's good. But what if you don't catch anything? You get prepared to face a lot of guts. Is this your first time fishing? Yeah. Me and Dad do this all the time. Don't we, Dad? 
Hey, I've got something. Hey, what do you know? A natural. Get your rod up. Get your rod up. Guess that leaves the guts to you and me. Oh, you can't have tied your fly properly. Here, let me show you. Waistcoat, is it not? My dad's. Cool, eh? Those stinking miners' clothes were horrible. Daniel and Fergus have gone fishing. Let's go have some fun in your time. I cannot. My new tutor arrives in ten minutes for French verbs and deportment. What's deportment? It is walking around with a book in your head. The only thing that young ladies of standing are permitted to do with them. Oh, bummer. Looks like I'm on my own then. Somewhere else. She's run away, haven't you? No. Where's your radio sir? Sorry? Your phones. Your mum and dad. Are they here in the gully? No. Well, yeah. Sort of. No, you've run away, you have. I'm always they be here. You better come with me. Where? Well, you'll see. It's very kind. or something. I've never heard of a label. I'm not rich. It was my dad's. <laughs> Look, I've had heaps of fun, but I think it's time I was getting home. No, you're not. You're not going anywhere. Nah. You're not going anywhere. Venir. J'y viens. Tu viens. Il vient. Elvion, nous venirons. Why do you stop? Nous venirons is wrong. You did not correct me. You corrected yourself. <clears throat> that is how we learn, by our mistakes. Enough French for one day. The rest of the time, we shall devote to your deportment. Head up, shoulders back. I just want to go home. You ran away. This is your home now. I never said I ran away. 
Sophie! Hello, children. I hope we've all been good. And who do we have here? Found a wandering round. Oh, how pleasant to have a new addition to our little family. I don't want to be an addition. I want to go home. Oh, I'm afraid that that's not possible. Not now. You're going to have to do better than that, lad. A small token of thanks for the work that you undertake with Constance. Oh, work is scarcely the word for it. Your daughter is a delight. Conscientious to a fault. Ah, uh -uh, not before Grace. Are you not hungry? Where are you gawking at? Where did you get that waistcoat? Constance, come. We must get home. Until tomorrow, Constance? What do you say, my dear? Tomorrow, my dear. That girl spells trouble. You know it, don't you? Don't you? She was asking about my waistcoat. Mm, yeah, she's been asking about far too many things for my liking. We're gonna have to move on sooner than planned. It's too great a risk to tarry. What about break-ins? Tonight. You're going to rob people? Huh. I'm worried about Amanda. Amanda? Sister of Fergus. She helped you when you robbed on the glacier. Ah, yes. <laughs> One of the boys in there is wearing her waistcoat. The girl has a waistcoat? Yes, Papa. And Mrs. Graveney. Dr. Constance, Mrs. Graveney is a woman of most noble sentiment. But she knows no French, Papa. She is not what she seems to be. And if the boy is wearing Manny's waistcoat, then she must be. Constance, oh, this is plainly ridiculous. Waistcoat, indeed. Mrs. Graveney is more than capable of disciplining the children in her charge. But, Papa. If your friend is in difficulty, well, that is for her own mother and father to deal with. Come. There is only one person to whom I can turn. But who? My dear Ronaldo. No. My dear Is Ronaldo. There you are. I've searched everywhere. Do you mind? Anyone get even a little privacy around here? Please, you must listen. It is so important. Uh -huh. You've come through the mirror, haven't you? Yes. I need your help. I do not know who else to turn to. <gasps> no! Let me through. You can't have it to yourselves all the time. Please, you must listen. It is Mandy. Oh, so that's today's little drama, is it? What's she done? Scraped her knee? No. I think she's been robbed. Oh. She may even have been hurt. And it is not a drama. I'm truly worried for her. Okay, okay. So tell me the story. Dog! I think they're done. There's not much there. Well, no thanks to you. Dog! <sighs> Ever heard of beginner's luck? Yeah, sure, but I think six fish is a bit more than luck. Dad! Okay, son. I'm coming. What's his problem? Dad? Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. It's just... Yeah. It's all right. I like it. It's amazing. 
magic mirror. Magic mirror? What are you talking me for? It's true. I live in another time. That's why you've got to let me go. What other time? A time with cars. Sort of like carriages, but you don't need a horse. And computers and planes. What's that? A plane? A thing you fly in. Let me go, Spike. I want to go home, please. Visitor. Out of sight. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm looking for Amanda McFarlane. Forgive me, I don't... My think... niece. I have reason to believe you know of her whereabouts. And I'm not leaving till you tell me. To right you or not. <laughs> So no, I have friends in high places. Oh, what got away was this? All right, you lot. You've got your instructions. Now get to it. <laughs> the meaning of this intrusion? Mrs. Gravely has been holding Amanda against her will. Constance, I really think relying on this girl's word. It's true. And if you don't do something soon, Mrs. Gravely and her orphans are going to rob the entire place. Why do things have to change, Dad? They just do. Sometimes it works out for the better. It's a big world. There's room enough for everyone, including Daniel. Then how can I feel like I'm the one who has to shove up? One more for the collection? Look, Mrs. Graveney and Spike. And where's Auntie Lily? Let go of me, you meathead! Is this the woman we want? No, that's Auntie Lily. They must have got away. They wouldn't leave without getting all their stuff.
take in off, aren't you? It's every man for himself tonight. It's time you lot started looking after yourselves anyway. You know, this place is supposed to be haunted, don't you? Oh, come on, Dad. Don't think you're gonna scare us with some poxy ghost story. No, this one's true. Apparently, there was this cold-hearted woman. She used to make a living out of robbing people on the gold fields. You know what happened to her, eh? Trust, you will come quietly, Mrs. Graveney. Oh, good one, Dad. How'd you do that? Dad's letting you read that stuff now. He said that as my judgment of human nature was clearly better than his, he did not see why I should not read at least some history. Bye bye. Weird. Where was it you went again? Graveney's Leap. Yeah. You know, I reckon the stories about that place are true. <laughs> 